cars are content. They are yeah. happy out. Yeah, you know, which is, yeah, you know. Which is, that's, that's, yeah. that's what you're looking for. You want to, CAF ideally needs to be spending 80% of their time lying down. Okay. Um, particularly for the first three weeks. So again, if they're sort of moving around and moping around, have a look at your have a look at the environment is it a little bit too cold straw scarce this year um, okay um do we need to put in a little bit of something underneath for soccer or something like that too too much activity within a pen maybe they're not getting fed often, often enough. enough or maybe the volume is down a little okay so yeah, yeah. Day, what day would you introduce rations in course um i'd put ration into them the very minute you come to the feeder yeah. because predominantly in ireland the history has been always used to weigh a bit use whey based powder whey doesn't form a clot more than two hours uh, and then the calf begins to feel a bit, a bit hungry. So once they get up to sort of three, four days, they can actually start to open up their room and so yeah. that something nice bit of flake maize or something like that is ideal. And the other thing is nice clean water. Yeah. Don't the the advice would be that they should be they should nearly have access to a calf starter ration from from day one. From day one. Uh, oh. They might eat very very little, but they'll pick at it. And the starches and sugars that are in these calf rations are all part of growing the development of the rumen. Again, back to what Bill said there, even though we are getting up to six litres of fluid into them a day in terms of milk, they should also have a clean water source as well. And that's some things that as often is missing in calf pens, that we rely on the feeders and we think that that's the liquid portion of the dry yes. looked after, but they should always have access to clean fresh water supply as well. Yeah. Like if they eat roughly, we'll say 100 grams of concentrate, which you want at the start, yeah. they'll take about, they'll want about 400 mils of water just to digest that. To get the bacteria growing yeah. so like i suppose michael this is more your field than my field but like bacteria really if we want to suppress it keep it dry yes yeah and it's we're trying to do the reverse in in in, in the calf stomach or cow stomach we need water just to get those bacteria to multiply as fast as yeah. they can and be as efficient as what they are yeah you know the the calf the the calf feeders is a method of feeding the calves but it's not a rearing system it's not a rearing system so your your calf management is still back to the same principles you know what i mean good clean dry bedding um adequate heat ventilation without drafts is is the key again you're back to your water source i would think that a calf starter ration should be added in as in available from day one they leave very little at the beginning but they'll pick away at it they should have a fiber source which is basically like a hay, a hay rack or hay net there for them let them pick away again early days the amount that they will eat will be small but those little picking routine routines that they'll do that's all part of developing the room as well Strong, straw replace hay. they'll they'll do kind of like john wayne they'll chew they'll chew in a little bit of straw and slobber away and produce a bit of saliva which is part of the development but they won't actually ingest or take it in you know but they'll yeah. they'll be like the old westerns and chewing on the side bit there and it could be the same piece of straw for the day yeah. but actually hay is probably a better hay or actually even some of the more uh, more blended of the grasses like the calf age products and things like that which are the more leaf based that are trying to get this development going it's starches and sugars that actually helps grow the rumen it's the, it's the starches and sugars people really so what we're doing is the calf stomach actually starts off pure smooth like the baby's hand and we need to get up a honeycomb structure on that and she's the propanate basically from starch that really gets that going yeah. Yeah. so literally until they're sort of taking in roughly probably 200 grams of concentrate i wouldn't get overly worried about about the amount of forage i'd actually put into that calf yeah. and like there's a good lot of in independent research showing that if we can increase the starch content of the starch or ration in that sort of that between day 17 and day 30 if we can increase that by about 10 percent it's probably worth about an extra 100 grams of daily life weight gain to us in that yeah. young calf yeah. so it's the starch is really the yeah. key to yeah. A good quality starter ration yeah. is our calf crunch or different products again there's yeah. so many of them available but a properly blended one is is ideal and again going back to what bill said the roughage side of it in terms of fiber whether it's hay or straw they'll nibble a little bit of it but yeah. in terms of actually developing the stomachs and the rumen it is actually the starter ration that does it yeah. like th th your forage has become more important at a day about a day 50. so the most important thing is from day zero to day 50 double the calf's birth rate because his abomasum is roughly 80% of his whole digestive system or a little bit more and his rumen is only about 5 to 7%. So after day 50, what we want to do is we want to swing that whole digestive system over that way by day 100 to day 110, we have the rumen roughly 80 to 90% of the digestive system and the mason back down to about 5 to 7%. So that's really when your forages really begin to come into the thing. And I suppose on the forages, 
it's rather than the type, the quality is even more important. So like we're in good we're in horsey country here today and like God rest all people they used to always say for even animals that were sick, horse hay. Yeah. That you had that nice green, fresh hay. Yeah. Um so it's quality more than quantity is, is, is the big thing to stimulate that rumination. Yeah.